Insomnia and sleep apnea. A big, big problem as we age. Uh, you know, lack of sleep because irritability, cognitive impairment, memory loss or lapses, impaired moral judgment, decreased creativity, increased stress, systems similar to ADHD, it impairs your immune system, increases risk of diabetes and type 2, decreases testosterone, increases heart rate variability, risk of heart disease and stroke, Increase reaction time, increased reaction time, decreased accuracy, tremors and aches, other uh, growth suspension, suppression, risk of obesity, decreased temperature. All these ills we're going to cover in this video, starting with poor quality sleep. Researchers at University of California re recently reported that quality of sleep, especially among the elderly, can cause brain deterioration and substantial memory loss in the area of the brain where long-term memory is stored called the prefrontal cortex receives transferred brain wave memories from the hippocampus which are produced during sleep. Poor quality of sleep in seniors triggers memories to be trapped in the area called the hippocampus and not go to the prefrontal cortex causing difficulty remembering names and forgetfulness. You know, uh, in this diagram, we have the top 11 amazing health benefits of sleep. Improves your memory, extends your lifespan, boosts your creativity, strains your immune system, reduces your risk for depression, improves your physical performance, sharpens your attention, reduces your stress, helps your body heal itself, helps you lose weight, and makes you more alert. You should have a minimum of six hours and a maximum of eight. Now, that might sound unusual, the use of the word maximum of eight, but if you go over eight hours, something is wrong. Also, carbon monoxide builds up in your blood system, so don't sleep more than eight hours. You may be suffering from depression or some other issues. You know, sleep disruption and memory loss is a major issue. According to UC Berkeley sleep researcher Matthew Walker, an associate professor of psychology and neuroscience, he quote to quote him, what we have discovered is a dysfunctional pathway that helps explain the relationship between deterioration, sleep disruption, and memory loss as we get older. With that, a potentially new treatment avenue. He added, when we are young, we have deep sleep that helps the brain store and retain new facts and information. Walker said, but as we get older, the quality of our sleep deteriorates and prevents those memories from being saved by the brain at night. The other issue is the spinal fluid that flushes the brain out in the, uh, during your sleep can't do it if you're wide awake and it disrupts your sleep patterns. Uh, here in this diagram, lose sleep, lose your mind, and health. Early studies have linked lack of sleep to both colorectal and aggressive breast cancers. Colorectal and aggressive breast cancers. Multiple studies have suggested a relationship between chronic sleep deprivation and increased obesity risk. Research has linked long-term sleep deprivation with a propensity to load up on bigger portions a preference for high-calorie, high-carb foods, and greater likelihood of choosing unhealthy foods while grocery shopping. So if you want to lose weight, you got to sleep. I mean, it sounds crazy, but that's the truth. You know, uh, you have higher risk of some cancers increase, diabetes risk goes up, heart disease risk goes up, burn count goes down, risk of death goes up. Uh, Stroke risk quadruples. You're hungrier and apt to eat more. More likely to have an accident. Not looking uh, your best or most inappropriate. Most likely to catch a cold. Losing brain tissue. Most likely to get emotional. Less focused and having memory problems. A sleep study evaluating 1,741 men and women over the course of 10 to 14 years 
found that men who slept less than six hours had a significant increase in mortality risk, even if adjusting for diabetes, hypertension, and other factors. A small recent study of 15 men published in the journal Sleep found that just one night of sleep deprivation was linked with signs of brain tissue loss. So look at this young lady. After a while of lack of sleep and after one night of your, your, your sleep. So you can see how it affects your whole system, your face, your body, your outward appearance, your emotions, and weight loss, which is an unbelievable factor, but true. Brain waves. The brain creates waves from the middle frontal lobe as this, is, as this part of the brain worsens, which generally occurs among elderly, it damages the ability to enter deep sleep, which is critical for keeping memories. Research is indicating that using electric stimulation improves sleep and improves memory. Lead author of this study, Bryce Mander, a postdoctoral fellow in psychology at UC Berkeley said, can you jump smart, slow wave sleep and help people remember their lives and memory better? It's an exciting possibility. Look at this uh, sleep wave cycle, two process model. You know, the homothetic sleep drive and car car circadian alerting signal. You wake and asleep. You know, during the day you have serotonin is the wake up hormone. And at night you have melatonin, which is your sleep hormone. So if you want deep sleep, the quality of deep sleep on average is much lower for seniors than for younger people, often as much as 75%. Studies have reported that it suggested that deterioration of the frontal lobe is linked with impaired wave activity. The special importance of a good night's sleep cannot be overemphasized. Our bodies produce less of the sleep hormone melatonin as we age. Check your doctor before taking melatonin supplements. Here's the 10 health benefits of a good night's sleep. Keeps your heart healthy. Sleep may prevent cancer. Sleep reduces stress. Sleep reduces inflammation. Sleep keeps you more alert. Sleep bolsters your memory. Sleep may help you lose weight. Naps make you smarter. Sleep may reduce your risk of depression. Sleep helps the body make repairs. And we're repeating these benefits over and over so it sinks into your head how important it is because insomnia and sleep apnea are two bad things you want to check off. You don't want that in your life. Insomnia, the most common sleep complaint, which affects almost half of adults 60 and older. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, which can elevate the risk of high blood pressure, stroke, heart disease, and cognitive problems. Snoring, a, prob a symptom of OSA, is a very common condition affecting nearly 40% of adults and is more common among older people. Not sleeping well can lead to a number of problems. Older adults who have poor nighttime sleep are more likely to have a depressed mood, attention and memory problems, excessive daytime sleepiness, more nighttime falls, and more over-the-counter uh, or prescription or sleep aids. Now, I suffered from devastating migraines over the years. And it wasn't until I had a sleep study done that we discovered I suffer from sleep apnea. And sleep apnea is that snoring or because you, you can't breathe while you're sleeping, it wakes you up, even though you're not aware of it, but then you, you have a troubled sleep all night and you don't get the, the good restful sleep that regenerates your brain and your body. Here are eight good sleep tips. Establish a routine sleep schedule, meaning Go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time, seven days a week. Avoid utilizing bed for activities other than sleep or intimacy. Don't watch TV in the bedroom. Avoid substances that disturb your sleep, like alcohol or caffeine. You shouldn't have alcohol or caffeine, uh, at least alcohol no later than 8 o'clock, and caffeine no later than 1 in the afternoon. 
not napping during the day. If you must snooze, limit the time to less than one hour and no more than 3 p.m. No later than 3 p.m. Meaning, if you're going to nap, don't do it for more than an hour and never later than 3 p.m. because then you won't sleep at night. Stick to rituals that help you relax each night before bed. This can include such things as a warm bath, a light snack, or a few minutes of reading. Don't take your worries to bed. Bedtime is a time to relax, not to hash out the stress of the day. And we're all guilty of that. But if you're aware of what you're doing, you'll put a stop to it. If you can't fall asleep, leave your bedroom and engage in a quiet activity. Then return to bed only when you are tired. Keep your bedroom dark, quiet, and a little cool. That is the best advice I can give you. Keep your bedroom dark, quiet, and a little cool. Those are eight simple tips to help you sleep like a baby. Take my advice. Read these over. Stop the video. Read them over. And take my advice and establish a routine schedule of sleep. Realize that your life and your health and your longevity depends on how well you sleep. And as you get older, it's even more important. Make sure to go over to SaturdayMorningDiet.com to get a, your copy of Mindfulness for Weight Loss ebook and our weight loss e-course package, The Kenogenic Diet, to help you lose weight in a healthy fashion by reducing your carbs and increasing the fats in your diet to make you uh, lose the weight and finally win the struggle against weight loss. We also offer our three weight loss e-course packages at very low price points, a bronze, a silver, and gold package to offer everybody's budget to get you exactly what you need to help you win the struggle against weight loss and finally win this battle to get over the struggles and learn how you could finally lose the weight. We offer you three weight loss packages that will help you get to where you want to be in your goals to be able to conquer this problem of weight, obesity, health, and learn how to finally get control of your life and learn how best to deal with your situation.